Hey everyone, let's learn about the five A's of Alzheimer's disease with Picmonic. I'll play the Picmonic videos, I'll play both the educational and the story videos, and then we will take the quiz at the end to see what we've learned. Five A's of Alzheimer's disease are several characteristic signs to help you detect the possible development of Alzheimer's, and is shown as the story of the old-timer clock and him trying to remember what apples are. The first finding represented is agnosia, shown by the egg nose with no face, which is the inability to recognize familiar objects, taste, sounds, and other sensations. Anomia is the inability to remember names of things, shown as the inability to name the apple with the name tag. Next is aphasia, the inability to express oneself through speech, shown as the fish not communicating what he wants to say. This may include the loss of the ability to speak as well as to interpret speech or writing. Apraxia is the inability to carry out voluntary motor functions despite having the ability to do them, shown as the ape acts unable to chop. Finally, the apples erase the old timer's memory, representing amnesia, which is memory loss. So to review, the five A's of Alzheimer's disease includes agnosia, abnomia, aphasia, apraxia, and amnesia. All right, that was the educational. Um, let's play the story. The old timer is looking at his five hand full of A apples, and he's not really sure how they got there. It all started earlier that day when he was at the market, where an egg nose with no face offered him some apples. Not usually one to buy things from unrecognizable strangers, the old timer decided to inspect this produce before purchasing. But upon closer inspection, the old-timer realized he didn't know the name of what he was looking at. Even though it had a name tag, he only drew a blank. So the old-timer asked the fish at the market, What is the name of this fruit here? The fish knew it was an apple, but could only reply, <laughs> As all fish have aphasia. The old-timer decided to sidestep his frustration by simply purchasing the whatchamacallits and going home. Once he got there, his pet ape with an axe knew exactly what to do with apples. They needed to be chopped. But every swing of the axe never really turned out as the ape intended, and the little apples were spared. By the time the ape axe had given up, the apples had erased the old-timer's memory, leaving him perplexed. I would ask him, how do you like them apples? But he doesn't even know what they are. All right, let's start the quiz. Okay, and feel free to pause at any time to answer the questions yourself if you'd like. The first question is, which of the following signs, symptoms, or diseases is most commonly seen when evaluating a patient for the five A's of Alzheimer's disease? All right. And I am going to go with the first one, anomia. I remember the picmonic here with the, um, the no name tag, so... I don't recall the rest of these. So anomia. And there you go. Anomia is the inability to remember names of things. Next question. Which of the following signs, symptoms, or... Oh, so it looks like it's the same question. Which of the following signs, symptoms, or diseases is most commonly seen when evaluating a patient for the five A's of Alzheimer's disease? And I'm going to go with aphasia. I remember the fish here. So aphasia. There you go. Aphasia is the inability to express oneself through speech. This may include a loss of the ability to speak or understand spoken, written, or sign language. Okay. And another five A's. Um, apraxia. I remember the ape axe there. So apraxia. Apraxia is the inability to perform purposeful movements or once familiar tasks such as dressing, cooking, or shaving. 
Okay, so there are two more questions left on this quiz. Do you remember the rest of the five A's? Um, if so, click the link below to check out Pygmonic so you can test yourself on Alzheimer's and other key topics with our space repetition quizzes. Thank you so much for learning with us today. Bye.